Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Aquí Alba con ustedes de nuevo para hablar de libros y algunos de Puerto Rico. Hi, it's Alba here again. Good morning, how are you doing? I just wanted to make a quick video because yesterday when I went to return the books for Black History Month to my grandsons, I found some more in a different bookshelf. So I want to share them with you today. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the one, another one of um, Roberto Clemente. Uh, this one is in Spanish called La Gorra de Robertito. It was uh, written by a former teacher and she signed it for me and uh, illustrated by a former cartoonist and caricaturist at uh, our newspaper El Nuevo Día. His name is, I'll let you know right now, Juan Álvarez O'Neill. Uh, this book is from a collection called Colección Héroes, the Heroes Collection, about prominent Puerto, Rico, uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, prominent Puerto Ricans. And then we have, sorry about that, I had to get the book. It's uh, Julia de Burgos. Um, Julia de Burgos by Georgina Lázaro. You know I love Georgina Lázaro. Uh, we're going to have to do a video about Georgina all by herself. This is Georgina Lázaro illustrated by Poli Marichal about uh, our most prominent and beloved uh, poet, Julia de Burgos, whose birthday, as a matter of fact, is this month on the 17th, and uh, we'll be talking more about her later on. And then I also found in the collection, in the bookshelf, Las Bellas Hijas de Mufaro, uh, Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters by John Steptoe. May he rest in peace. A uh, beautiful book, an award winner, uh, an African folk tale. Yeah, he was uh, a trailblazer, John Steptoe, Steptoe, and the illustrations are just beautiful. Also found the story of Ruby Bridges by Robert Coles, illustrated by George Ford. Yeah, this is a inspiring story of a courageous little girl. Uh, you all know the picture, that famous picture of Ruby Bridges uh, accompanied by uh, federal marshals into a school that was deserted by teachers and students alike and that just had one teacher uh, teaching her, I think during that whole first year. Yeah, inspiring story. And then we have a young reader's edition of Hidden Figures uh, by Margot Lee uh, Shetterly. And we hope to uh, read this book before watching the movie. And then this has been a project that I've had uh, for my grandsons to finish reading Mildred T. D. Taylor's Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. And that's another one that we're going to read this book and then watch the movie. It's available on, on YouTube. But then the tour de force, my mom always used to say, uh, on your plate, leave the best for last. And this is it. It's called Niña Bonita, uh, published by Ediciones Ecare, written by Ana Maria Machado. And I just learned that um, Ana Maria Machado is a Brazilian writer, uh, a children's uh, literature writer, has written more than 80 titles uh, in Brazil. And she started writing during the military dictatorship. She started writing in 1969 as a way of getting the message of human rights across in, in a simple and humorous way. This is a story, a charming story about a rabbit who wants to have a beautiful daughter as beautiful as La Niña Bonita and uh, eventually uh, discovers the secret to having uh, a daughter as beautiful as La Niña Bonita. Uh, it's a very, very funny book. Uh, maybe 
somebody will translate it into English someday. But my students and my grandkids love this book. It starts off with the description of La Niña Bonita. So beautiful. How her mother loved to uh, make uh, braids, loved to braid her hair. And then there's the rabbit, little tiny rabbit, completely enthralled and captivated by the little girl. And uh, so he asks her, Niña bonita, niña bonita, ¿cuál es tu secreto para ser tan negrita? What is your secret to being so black? And she says, I don't know. Maybe some black ink was uh, spilled on me. So he goes and spills black ink on himself, and during the first rainfall, it all comes off. And it goes on like that. Very, very humorous. Oh, very good book. I love it. Niña Bonita, Niña Bonita. And of course, now I'm going to try to get some more of her uh, books because this is one of my favorites, all-time favorites. So that was just a quick uh, one to let you know that there are even more books out there that were on our shelves. So have a great day, everybody. Adios, cuídense mucho. Hasta pronto. Bye.